Hey guys, it's Alec, and we're going to talk about intake manifolds today. <clears throat> Excuse me, it's a uh, you know little polony in the air. So, which is the best intake manifold to use on a naturally aspirated car? Well, guys, 99% of the time, it's the stock one. You don't really need you know anything fancy schmancy underneath here unless you're going to go racing and do like race only applications. I always ask people, hey, look. What are you going to do with the car? What are what are the goals, you know, that you're looking to attain with the car? So if you're looking to go drag racing, I always tell the people, look, if you're looking to go drag racing and have a naturally aspirated warrior, don't bother with anything but the Cobra Jet intake. The Cobra Jet intake has been proven to be the baddest motherfucker out there, period. It, it, it flows the best. It, it's just, it, look, it is just made to to make the most amount of power possible naturally aspirated. All the, the fastest naturally aspirated cars, Mustangs, 11, you know, Coyote cars, 11 and up, <clears throat> have a Cobra Jet intake. I'll give you guys another example. Uh, Sean Perry, uh, AED Sean from California, has a red S550, and he tried the stock, the GT350, and the CJ. <clears throat> now, Sean is one of the most thorough guys that you'll ever come across with a no bullshit attitude. He'll tell you what power it made with the stock intake and he'll put about 20 to 30 uh, quarter mile runs together and collect data. Then he'll do the same with the GT350 intake. Then he'll do it with the Cobra Jet intake. And with the Cobra Jet intake, with some weight reduction and a very high stall converter on an automatic S550, he has been, I think, as fast as 1067. I mean, he might have gone faster, but last I heard he has gone in the tens, you know, almost mid tens on a naturally aspirated S550 with a little bit of weight reduction and some suspension work, but it's possible. Subsequently, uh, one of my tuning customers, Ben Calamer, who had one of the fastest NA cars by Coyote, period. <clears throat> Actually, I think he was, now we're talking NA street car. I'm not saying like a full race effort. Full race effort, uh, there, there are Coyote cars that have been nines, so that's not a big deal, but I'm talking, you know, something you can probably build at home without crazy weight reduction. Uh, he has gone uh, 1030, I believe, as quick as 1030 with good fuel, Cobra Jet intake, monoblade throttle body. If you can find a, a monoblade throttle body that doesn't fail safe, that's like gold. Um, so what did he do? He said, Alex, I bought an S550. What do you think about me throwing my Cobra Jet intake on there? Because I've seen Sean having great results. So let's do it. I'd love to do it. You know, he, he could have done the GT uh, intake, GT350, then the Cobra Jet. He wasn't fucking around. So he went from going like a 12A, 12.7, you know, in bone stock trim with just a tune to Cobra Jet intake, monoblade, and a PMAS cold air running, I believe, a low 12. Almost, almost a second just with intake swap only and obviously a ton of tuning. Now, the other thing about this is Ben Calamor is a meticulous data logger, okay? The, the, he, he is exactly the logs I tell him to, to, to get. He gets me and I get great data and me and him work together late nights, early mornings, whatever it takes to dial in that combination. Customers like that only make me look better because they get me data and great feedback as to what the car is doing. We worked on a shift point, we worked on his launch RPM, I mean a launch spark, we, learned, we worked on a bunch of things and we have gotten the car down to 1170, um, I believe 118. Again, the car is automatic with a stock, stock, Core converter okay so now what he's gonna do is he's gonna get a big boy stall he's gonna get a 5c converter from circle D because he wants to remain naturally aspirated automatic he wants to go 10s NA and I think if we get that 60 foot down to the one low 1.5 high 1.4 range that car is gonna go 10s no problem naturally aspirated with a Cobra Jet now what is required to put a Cobra Jet intake in a S550 well, it requires a decent amount of work. Luckily, PMAS has come out with a cold air for it, which I will show you a, a picture of it that uh, I asked Ben Calamar to take for me. Um, so that fits nicely. You don't have to kind of work a Rev Auto intake into a PMAS housing or, or, or a uh, Ford Racing cold air. You want something that flows and Nick James PMAS uh, has, in my opinion, the best cold air it takes around in terms of flow. So, and then I believe you need <clears throat> to lower the, mo lower the motor somehow or clearance the hood because the Cobra Jet intake is a little high. Now, some of you are going to ask, well, why aren't you recommending the GT350 intake? Simple, the, the, the Cobra Jet makes more, but it costs more. So if you're, you know, cost conscious, 
You can definitely use the GT350 intake manifold with the stock throttle body using an, an adapter. A couple of people make the adapter Blowfish and I think MMR make an adapter to get the intake manifold coupled with the stock throttle body. Why the stock throttle body? Because it makes life easy and you make zero additional power with the GT350 throttle body. Now, we have seen great results with that uh, intake also on a manual transmission car, VMP tuned, a manual transmission car, the guy named is Scott Schubel, he has a channel over in Mustang Lifestyles, and we ended up getting uh, that car to make really good power, over 450 rear wheel horsepower through a GT350 intake E85 and a PMAS cold air, common thread is the PMAS cold air, and he went 11.2 at 122, and 122 is a badass trap speed for an NA car um, with the 85. That is, that's honking. Most boosted guys that I know, Coyote guys that barely get, you know, with pump gas, are uh, are having trouble dipping into the tents. He's pretty darn close to it. And you know, with some suspension mods, because he has a pretty simple setup, the car can go tens also. So again, when it comes to the intake manifold debate, nothing is better than the Cobra Jet intake. Don't talk to me about the sniper. Don't talk to me about the boss intake. I don't care. Stock, GT350, or Cobra Jet. Period. That's my opinion. Thanks for watching, guys. More videos coming soon. Talk to you later.